Thank you, folks, for coming here this morning. We appreciate your presence. Let's just relax, shall we? Because right now is the time when we want together to establish in thought and mind, in heart, in consciousness, that very special affirmation that will help to carry us through the week ahead. We call it the thought for the week. So let's just relax. Let's just, in this wonderful place that we've set aside for the purpose, let's just breathe easily and freely and deeply. Let's consciously let go of any stress or strain that we may have brought here with us this morning. Just breathe easily and freely. Relax, relax. And we have a wonderful thought for the week to share. We know that many of us come to church to find God, but we forget often that God needs us. Why else are we here save to express the power of our Creator through us? In thought and word and deed, God needs us. This is a revelation to many of us. To think that we are needed in this wondrous way, that we have the words, we have the abilities, the talents that are needed by God to enter this world and to bring peace and joy, fulfillment, satisfaction to those about us. There is so much unhappiness in our world, so much strife, so much anger, and yet we ourselves may speak to these issues. And we ourselves, through what we say and think and do, may alleviate the lot of so many around us. This is the work for which God needs us. And when we open our hearts to this realization, when we say God needs us, we feel that great access of spiritual energy that gives us the words, gives us the strength, gives us the courage to reach out and do what we must to bring light into this world of ours. God needs me. Let's, let's say that together. God needs me. Again. God needs me. And let's think for a moment what this means. What an incredible opportunity we have now to fulfill our destiny. To be part of God's creative, energized universe. We're not passive spectators. We're not here for the ride. We are energetic participants in the very business of creation. God needs us for this. Even though we may say, oh, I'm not worthy, surely. Surely I can't do this, but we can. This is our mission and purpose, our reason for being. God needs me, my own individual talents, my very special, special abilities. All of them needed to forward God's great creative plan. God needs me. Say it. God needs me. And let's rest in this affirmative truth for a few moments. Establish it in heart and mind and consciousness. Let it become a part of our being. God needs me.
God needs me. Perhaps already we can think of ways in which we can reach out and express God's good in our lives, help others on their pilgrimage through life. How using our special abilities and talents, doing it our way, we can reach out and embrace so many others and bring so much light and good into the world. God needs me. And even if this is an unfamiliar thought, even if you have never contemplated the possibility before, embrace it now. Give it a chance. Open your hearts and minds. Say, God needs me. And then look for the opportunities, the strength, the courage to reach out to bring that wonderful, wonderful saving light into the world. God needs us, and for this we are profoundly grateful. In the name and through the power of the Christ, the living Word of God in us, we give thanks. God needs me.